Bill, welcome in the kitchen. So glad you're here. I'm having to do a voiceover because the my mic could have been turned off somehow. Um, but anyway, we'll get it done, won't we? If y'all could hit that subscribe button for me, it's greatly appreciated. Um, give me a thumbs up so other people get to see it. The more thumbs up you have, the higher up um, YouTube puts you. And uh, I hate being lost back in there. So today we're going to make Catalina chicken. Got me some chicken breasts right here um, that have been thawed just a little bit, but they're still fairly frozen. And we'll get me some spray out over here to um, spray our pan with. You probably don't have to do this, but I just thought I would because I know this dish is kind of sticky. Um, this is something my mama used to make way back in the day. Mommy loved to use salad dressings as marinades back before you could buy a lot of pre-made marinades, uh, but you could buy salad dressings. So mama used a lot of salad dressings in her cooking. Um, this you could put in a crock pot real easy. We're just going to lay our chicken in here just like this. Um, like I said, mine's still kind of frozen, um, and I've got these pieces sliced fairly thin. Um, Y'all know how I don't like a big, thick, fat piece of chicken. I like to, to make my chicken thin, see, just like that. And um, we're just going to lay that all in there, and then we're going to mix up our sauce, which is three ingredients. I should have gone over what you all need. You need the zesty Catalina dressing. You need apricot preserves, and you need onion, dry onion soup mix. And that's all you need. No salt and pepper or anything else to go with it. Um, and it calls for eight ounces of the Catalina dressing, which is a cup, I believe. And you need eight ounces of the preserves. We're going to measure that out here. Oh, this zesty Catalina dressing is so good. Um, measure this out here real good. And then we're going to add eight ounces of our apricot preserves. You can use peach. Um, I should have used some peach that I had made. I never even thought about it. Mama just always used the apricot. Uh, my mama loved apricots. Um... So I'm just trying to do it like Mama's recipe. All right, there you go with that. And uh, now you need your dry onion soup mix. And we'll spread, I don't remember, we'll pour that right in there too and we'll get all that mixed up. And some paprika, I believe. I believe that's what we're using here. I believe it is. It is. Just two teaspoons or half a teaspoon. I don't remember, but I'm going to put y'all the recipe in the bottom. And a little bit of salt. And a little bit of pepper. I guess we did add salt and pepper. I was thinking that we didn't because we had the soup mix. But I guess for that amount of chicken, we do. Y'all, this would be great in a crock pot. Just mix it all up, throw it all in there, and let it cook all day long, and that chicken would shred up and go over rice. It would just be absolutely delicious in a crock pot. But I didn't have time to start it early this morning, so I'm just getting it going here about 4 o'clock, I guess, 3.30, 4 o'clock. And I'm going to cook us some rice, just plain white rice. Um, Y'all know how I do my rice. I kind of brown it first and then add chicken broth to it. And uh, here I decided to add a little bit more dressing because I wanted extra to go over and make a gravy like for our rice, a sauce for the rice. So um, I used the whole bottle of dressing and I didn't use but about half of that jar of preserves. So um, let me get something else over here to get those out with. 
And I'm just going to add a little bit more there. Like I said, I didn't use the whole jar of preserves, but I did the whole jar of dressing. And I just add a little more of that. No more soup or salt or anything. Just, just a little bit more of that. So we had lots and lots of dressing. See, I'm going to get out every little drop. I don't like to waste anything, and I was going to throw that bottle away. That dressing is so good, just like that. It's wonderful on a salad, too, of course. It is a salad dressing, after all, right? All right, here's our Catalina chicken. Doesn't that look delicious? Sauce is thick. It'll be so good over our rice. Chicken is very tender. I can't do it like that with that <laughs> with one fork y'all but it'll just shred up if you want to shred it or eat it just a piece of it mm -mm -mm. doesn't that look divine and yummy taste the sauce it's on my fork now mm. that's so good so y'all remember to like share subscribe please subscribe comment ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss a video and that'll be all for this one i'll see you all in the next one bye for now